Hey guys, welcome back to The Magnet Minute. My name is Amy and I'm your host. You're probably wondering about my change of scenery. I would too. I'm actually in London, England right now for Mozilla Festival. I was offered the opportunity to speak about video blogging and part of my presentation was about Mozilla's newest platform which is called Popcorn Maker. Popcorn is a web maker platform where you can take your YouTube videos and insert your own engaging and interactive pop-ups with it. Ultimately very similar to annotations that are on YouTube, however YouTube restricts most users to only link to uh, pages that are on the YouTube site where this webmaker program lets you link to anything on the internet. All you have to do is go to popcorn.webmaker.org. It's a free platform and insert the URL for your YouTube video into the editor. The platform looks a lot like a regular video editor. There's many different layers of pop-ups that you can have, uh, but you just have to drag and drop the one that you prefer and customize it the way you like it. The really cool thing about the pop-ups is that it's not just as simple as like a text pop-up or even just an image pop-up, which are both great in their own right. You also have the ability to add live Google Maps or a live Twitter feed around a certain keyword or even a Wikipedia page onto your video. It's really, really cool. So should you be referencing something that has to do with a Twitter feed, then you can put it directly on your video and the person watching your video can actually scroll through the feed while they're watching your video on top of your video. Or if you're referencing a location and you add a Google map, the viewer can actually zoom in to a specific street or area of that map and you can customize how it actually shows up from the get-go, whether you want it to be an entire city or country or an actual intersection. If you're actually watching this video on the Magnet Media blog, you can see a couple examples of what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, but obviously, these annotations aren't available to be customized on the YouTube platform. So basically, if you want people to see your popcorn updates, you would make them in the WebMaker platform and then get the embed code to put on your website. This works out fine because you're gonna be sending people to your website anyway when you're introducing them to your video. So they'll be able to see the video, They'll see the pop-ups and they'll see your branding all around it. So take advantage of Popcorn Maker to emphasize those calls to action that you would really like to see happening on your videos instead of in the description somewhere where they may not read. That's all for today. I'm gonna go do some sightseeing. Be sure to continue the conversation with me on Twitter at Schmatastic and at Magnet Media Inc. And of course, subscribe to this channel because I will see you next week on the Magnet Minute. For more great tips and resources, make sure you sign up for the Magnet Media Resource Center and newsletter at Magnet Media Films dot com slash subscribe.